Hello children, in today's class we will be discussing the directions of a vector. Children, we know that a vector has a direction mainly whenever we talk about a vector, you know, yes, we will be very, very, very particular about the direction. But whenever we are giving a direction to a particular vector, you know, so how we are taking that particular direction is a very important. So this is a very small topic, directly questions, you know, may not be asked from this. But whenever there are some numericals where angle between two vectors is involved, you know, definitely they will add this concept also. So it's very important to us to learn how directions are taken for a vectors. Children, we know that there are four directions, right? So here, south, east, north, west. This is a anti-clockwise. Whereas south, west, north, east, this is a clockwise direction. These, the, these four directions are also called as cardinal directions. And other than this, we have four more, right? Means half halfway of east north, one more direction is there. Halfway of northeast, one more direction is there. Halfway of southwest, one more direction is there. Halfway of east south, one more direction is there. Okay, we'll come to that other four directions later, little bit later. So, children, whenever we're talking about any vector, for suppose let us take a, a force. For suppose it is given that five newtons force in a east direction. So. 5 newton force acting on a body in a east direction so we will take a scale right for suppose here 1 centimeter if we can take as a 1 newton then 5 centimeters will be equal to 5 newton so when you want to draw a force vector with a magnitude 5 newtons towards east so we will take a 5 newtons okay let us suppose from here to the 5 newtons so till here so we can it's a let us say it's a f is equal to 5 newtons which means what 5 newton force is acting okay now, towards east if it is acting towards north yes we'll take a, in this direction 5 newton force okay if it is a 5 newton is acting towards west yes 5 newtons in this direction the same force is acting towards the south exactly 5 newtons we will take towards the south it's fine but are we sure that always the force is acting along these four directions no so, if it is other than these four directions, if it is other than these four directions, if force is acting, yes, other than these four directions means yes, there are four four directions. So, halfway of east north is there, halfway of northwest is there, halfway of west south is there, halfway of southeast is there. So, children, we know very well that the angle between either northeast or northwest or west south or southeast is exactly 90 degrees. And halfway of northeast, halfway of east and a north this we can north east so exactly this will be 45 degrees right yes exactly okay na? okay but here the doubt is that should we call it as a northeast or east north okay first let us write it can be northeast or east north so how about this children so this can be northwest or west north so this will be southwest or west south this can be southeast or east south so on what base actually we write either it is a northeast or east north you may get one doubt sir either northeast or east east north both represent the same one right yes it represents the same but direction is very important are we moving from north to east or east to north is very very important Children, see, uh, you know, though oh, we, we students can practice this again and again, you know, always there will be confusion. Is it northeast or east north? Children, for this, you know, I'll give you a clue. If you can remember, if you can follow this clue, you know, in, you never forget, you never have a confusion in terms of directions. That is, just let us recall letter writing, children. Did you write any time letter to anyone? Okay, I don't know whether you are generation, I, I don't know whether you have written or not. Yes, we have written, we we wrote letters, right? Okay, anyhow, whether you write or not, also, you know, up to definitely in a 10th class, 11th class, as you will be having English subject, their letter writing will be there. Children, whenever we are writing a letter, you know, the two common things will be there. What is that? To address, okay, na? from address, right? This is very, very important. You may get one doubt, sir. Why we are talking about English in physics? Yes, I am coming to that point only. To address, from address. First, what will you write? To address. Then from address will come. So, where that letter has to go should come first. And where that letter is coming from should come second. I repeat once again. So, to where 
you are sending that letter to that should come first from where that letter is going that should come second is it clear fine now for example here if a particular person is going from a to b again a person is walking from a to b a b so this is from this is from particular person is coming from going to b to b so this should come first this should come first this should come second when we are writing even when we are writing the directions of vector also this is what actually we are going to follow is it clear fine now let me give you a clarity now so you make it a one doubt sir it is 45 degrees this you know very well 45 degrees but if it is from like this yes so here you are moving from east to see east to north east from east to north so the two should come from right yes so this i can write as a 45 degrees 45 degrees north north from where from where from where east children very 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 important very simple to understand so we are moving east to north two should come first then from where you are coming east so this is 45 degrees north of east 45 degrees north of east if it is like this if it is like this look at it okay na? so this let us say is the first example now this is the second case in the second case from where you are coming we are coming from north moving to east so east should come right so 45 degrees east of west sorry east of sorry east of north east of north so this first one represents where you are moving in which direction that particular vector is moving that should come here from which direction that particular vector is coming from 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 so if you have idea about this point this particular small thing then we never have a confusion at all whenever we are taking the directions is it clear still again i'm telling you first two should come where in which direction it is moving actually okay now and second one what should come from where that particular vector so this if you can take this first case moving from east to north that's what we can write 45 degrees so five newton force 45 degrees north of east where a second one it will be 45 degrees east of north so where to from to from i repeat once to from so if you have a this point in your mind you know you don't have a confusion at all clear fine and children okay this four plus four eight direction but are we sure that only that particular vectors are you know always uh, moving in between these eight uh, directions or these eight directions are involved no other than these directions are so involved but how to write yes let us see here let us take one more example so that will be very very easy to us of east yes look at here so let us try to write the vectors direction for this so first it is given 5 newton force 37 degrees so 5 newton force of uh, 5 newton force is acting at 37 degrees east of north so look at here so let us take a uh, four directions yes okay this is east west so here is north and here is south so here only east and north these two are involved okay so 37 degrees east children to from tightness so before it is like this actually north so actually it is so now it is it it is inclined towards east like this 37 degrees okay so from north it is 37 degrees towards east so this can be like this so here is 37 degrees 5 newton force so is to this again i repeat this is to this is from this is from clear fine now second one 2 meter per second 30 degrees west north so let us take now here is west north only right yes no need all direction this is north and here is west so they are saying that 30 degrees west of north means 
before it was like this actually. So, this vector, so let us say there is a velocity vector is turned towards west by 20 degrees like this. So, from north towards west, towards west it can be, yes, this is, so this is 2 meter per second, this is how much the 30 degrees, fine. Now, look at here, 10 meter per second square acceleration, 25 degrees south of east. So, south of east, okay, here it is there, okay, look at here, let us take this one here only, okay. So, 25 degrees south of east means, actually the acceleration vector is towards east only actually. Now, it is rotated by 25 degrees towards south. So, towards south, let me just wait, towards, so this is 10 meter per second square, this is 25 degrees. Children, it is as simple as that. Don't get confused in which direction it is moving, from which direction it is coming. So, uh, to which direction it is moving, it should come first. Then second, from which direction it is coming, that should come second. Is that clear? So, this is 5 newtons, 37 degrees east of north, 2 meter per second, 30 degrees west of north and 10 meter per second square, 25 degrees south of east. Just copy this. It uh, will see three more important points regarding vectors. Okay, just copy this. Yes, this is vector B. Children, these three points are very important. Okay, so first one is what? I am rotating any vector by 360 degrees or 2 pi radian, 2 pi. Okay, now it does not change, which means what? For suppose here, here is a vector, it is a towards east. That is a phi Newton force is acting towards east. So, if it is rotated, for example, it is here by 360 degrees. Which means what? Like this, like this, like this, like this. So, 360 degrees it is rotated. Again, what will happen? It will come to the same position. So, there is no change in magnitude, there is no change in direction. So, any vector, if it is rotated by 360 degrees or 2 pi, so there won't be any change in it. Okay, fine. And the second point is that parallel shifting of vector. This is very important actually, mostly, mostly. So, we will be following this only. Parallel shifting means what actually, if a vector is, okay, it is a phi Newton. So, this vector can be drawn like this also. This vector can be drawn like this also. So, direction is east only, magnitude is phi Newton. So, without changing its magnitude and the direction, you can take, you can draw that particular vector anywhere. So, look at here. So, this vector A, let us say it is a 5 meter, velocity vector, 5 meter per second in this direction is acting. So, same vector can be drawn here can be drawn here, can be drawn here, means that parallel shifting can be accepted. Let us take here, let us take the first example. So, in this example, more clarity you will get. So, that particular velocity vector is uh, 2 meter per second is magnitude is acting such a way that it makes 30 degrees, 30 degrees with the x axis, okay, sorry, 40 degrees with the x axis. Now, same vector can be drawn here. So, same vector is drawn here such that the magnitude is same only and still it is making 40 degrees with the x axis only. So, parallel shifting of vector is accepted. Okay, fine. Third one, very, 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 very important. So, mostly as I told you that the direction concept is mixed with the angle between the two vectors and the questions can be asked. Yes, we will do two more questions, two numericals we will do so that you get a more clarity. So, angle between the two vectors. Children, first point is that there are two conditions. So, whenever we are taking the angle, make sure that the two tails are two tails, two tails should be in contact, first condition. And the second one, the angle should not exceed 180 degrees. So, look at here, yes. So, these two vectors, yes, their two tails are meeting, tail by tail, tail by tail, okay. So, it is a T square method, tail by tail, okay. So, yes, now here is, the angle is 30 degrees only, no problem at all. But here, you cannot take it as 120 degrees, why? Here, see, first vector head is in contact with the uh, second vector tail. So, it is not accepted. Then what we have to do? Parallel shifting. Yes, this vector can be shifted parallel to itself like this. Okay, yes. So, then this will be the angle. This will be how much? Theta is equal to 60 degrees. This will be 60 degrees. Okay, now. or this vector B, you can draw, you can just pull it back here. This vector, you can yes, either tail, or, tail by tail or head by head. No problem. So, this will be the angle 60 degrees. Anything is okay. Anything is okay. Don't get confused here. Okay. Now look at here. 
So, here is one vector is like this let us say vector c vector c and it is it is given one more vector let me draw here so what happened today yes wait let, let me draw one more vector it is going so for suppose it is given like this so this angle is for example 320 degrees now by seeing this so you may think like this sir anyhow these two tails are meeting so this angle between no you cannot take why the condition is that they should not exceed 180 degrees then what we have to yes so this will be the angle this will be the angle so this is a how much it is so 40 degrees is a angle between these two vectors is it clear now we do two important numericals so after that you will get 100 percentage grip on this just copy this fine so just uh, you can see the question on the board chillet so, according to this question, it is given that a man walks towards east with a certain velocity. So, first let us take here is direction. Taking the directions are very important. So, after that only we are able to find the angles. Okay, now. so look at here. So, it is east, it is north and here is west and here is south. So, the person is going like this children. So, this is a direction of a man direction of a man okay so man walks towards the east with a certain velocity vm is a velocity of that particular person magnitude we are talking but towards the okay let us keep here arrow mark also because it's vector we are talking about direction also and it is given that a uh, one more car so it is uh, going with certain velocity okay now, such that it is going a road it is uh, you know 30 degrees west of north children west of north means towards west from north very 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 this is very important here so this is so west of north west towards west okay of north means from this is 30 degrees this is what actually velocity of car here is velocity of a car and one more bus is going bus is going along another road such that it makes you know 60 degrees south of west south of west means towards south towards south towards south it is so this is okay so towards south of west so it is given that 60 degrees south of west so this what actually velocity of what happened to this marker so this is velocity of bus so this what see that, that's what i said actually if you want to do this question you know first you should know how to take the angle or directions so this is 30 degrees west of north this is 60 degrees south of west now the question is that what is the angle between uh velocity, uh, velocity vector of man to this car car to the uh, bus bus velocity to the man velocity so first we we drew like this now it's almost uh, the answer is clear to us now so anyhow if you can see this vector okay oh man oh velocity of a man velocity of a car yes tails are meeting no problem at all so this is 30 degrees and this is 90 degrees so this total is how much children this total so the angle between velocity of a man and velocity of a car is how much 90 plus 30 is how much 120 degrees fine now what is the angle between car or velocity of the car to the velocity of the bus velocity of the bus so this is how much so velocity of the car here is velocity of the bus it is so this is 60 this is 30 so this will be how much in this is 60 again so this total is how much this is 60 again 60 plus 60 yes it is 120 okay next velocity of the bus angle between velocity of bus to the velocity of man this will be how much if you can see so this is 90 okay so 60 gone so this will be how much children? this is 30 so this now they are asking this angle right so 30 plus 90 120 so it is not that always you will get the same angle so depends in the data given so now we are able to take the angles why how we are able to take the angles because first we drew the vectors the direction of vectors very important is it clear fine so children look at here these two are homework for you come on just these are the 
homework questions homework okay it's not like homework it's like a practice okay now so just uh, uh, go through this so uh, how you can write the direction for this and uh, for this vector a and vector b just write your answers in the comment box so that we'll go through it is it clear it's a very small session it is very very small and in detail uh, we discussed okay now fine just uh, go through this again so children previously just we had almost three to four uh, uh, vector classes which uh, links will be given in the description just go through it and the next very next class we will be discussing about the resolution of vector okay children thank you very much